what y'all know about a supermodel fresh out of hell magazine hey beauties welcome back to my channel it's sam here and today i did this fall makeup look inspired by the pumpkin spice latte which is very popular around this time of the year honestly it was really simple i just used a few colors on my eyes so if you want to see how i got this look keep watching so i'm starting off with priming my lids with max paint only paint pot i'm just rubbing that in with my fingers Then using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm setting that primer with the shade Tempera. And I'll leave all the names of the brushes below. Just going in, doing the other eye. Now I'm taking the shade Elixir from ColourPop's Fall Zingara Collection. It's like a gorgeous burnt orange. And I'm just applying that all over my lid. Then I'm taking that same shade and I'm blending it into my crease. Next, I'm going in real, with Real Gar from the Anastasia palette and I'm blending that in. Using windshield wiper movements. Then I'm taking Burnt Orange and I'm just applying that to the top of my crease to create a nice transition. Then I'm gonna go highlight my brow bone with Primavera Then taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend that all together. I'm just taking a little bit more of that burnt orange and blending it in. Now onto the face, I'm taking my LA Girl Orange Corrector to color correct my under eyes. I'm just going to dab that in. Now going in with my foundation, I'm using the Co-Cushion Foundation in number 4. And I'm just going to blend that in. It looks a little white here, but I'm going to fix that after. Just blend that in some more with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Now onto my concealer and I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Medium Tan. Taking that same sponge, I'm going to just blend that in some more. And then I'm just buffing it out with a tart brush here. Now using my Pure Cosmetics Jumbo Bronzer, I'm just going to apply some bronzer.
applying that to my cheeks and my forehead. Then I'm just gonna do a quick nose contour using the same bronzer. Then I'm taking the Ben Yai Banana Setting Powder and setting my concealer and underneath my contour. And I'm just applying that with my makeup sponge. As well as a brush. Once that has baked for a bit, I'm just dusting it all away. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Palette and I'm taking the shade Amber Gold and applying that to my cheekbones. Then I'm adding Sunray on top of that and as well as my nose. And my Cupid's bow. Now moving on to blush and I'm using the NYX New To Me Ombre brush, Blush. This brush, this blush is super pigmented. So I'm just taking a very light amount and now I'm going in with Max Gold Deposit. And I'm just gonna blend that in between my blush and my highlight. Just taking very little. Then I'm gonna finish up my eyes and I'm taking the Stila Smudge Stick Liner in Lionfish, which is a pretty bronze shade. And I'm just gonna apply that to my lower lash line. Then taking the same color we used on the lid, the ColourPop Elixir, and I'm just gonna blend that into the lower lash line as well. Then I'm taking the shade White Sand from the Glow Kit and highlighting my inner corners of my eyes. Moving on to mascara, and I'm using the Pure Cosmetics Fully Charged Mascara before I put on some falsies. And before I put on my lashes, I just popped on some contacts and I'm using the Salon Perfect Lashes in 615. And now that I have both lashes on, I'm just applying my lip liner and I'm using LA Girl Natural Cream Lip Liner. And my lipstick is Max Ponder Me Lipstick. This is one of my favorite all-time lipsticks for fall. Such a pretty terracotta shade, but I think it's limited edition. Now I'm setting my face with Max Fix Plus. And then I had to apply some more highlight because the Ultimate Glow was not working for me. And Max Soft and Gentle never fails me. 
Then I'm taking Champagne Pop to highlight the inner corners of my eyes because the white sand had faded as well as on my cheeks. I'm just gonna put some more for that pop. Now taking a damp beauty sponge, I'm just gonna blend that in a bit more and set the highlight again. So that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.